Good. And Dr. Fauci, who I actually got along with, he's a nice guy. He's a great promoter, you know? Not a great doctor, but he's a hell of a promoter. He likes television more than any politician in this room. And they like television. But he's been wrong on almost every issue. And he was wrong on Wuhan and the lab also, very wrong. And we ended the payments. You know, they were started in 2014. And then uh, I can tell you, Mark Meadows came in, and I talked to him, and I, he saw what I saw. And I said, what the hell's going on? When did that start? It started in 2014, and we ended it. Our administration ended it. But generally speaking, I went the opposite way of Dr. Fauci, what he was saying. For instance, Fauci said, do not close our borders to China or Europe. But I did it anyway. And months later, he said, I made the right decision and saved thousands and thousands of lives. He said it was the right decision, but he did not want to close that border. It's amazing the way they can handle it. And then the plane would come in. And Fauci said powerfully at the beginning, no masks. You remember that? No, masks don't work, masks don't work. And then he went into masks, and then he became a radical masker. I would call it, <laughs> if you have three, if you have four, Get a pair of goggles also, ideally. <laughs> and let's wear them for another five or six years. And But Fauci has perhaps never been more wrong than when he denied the virus and where it came from. The time has come for America and the world to demand reparations and accountability from the Communist <laughs> Party of China. We should all declare within one unified voice that China must pay. They must pay.